and welcome to another edition of Two Dudes in Mexican. I am your host, Premier League anchor, some dude named Victor. To the left of me, the sports guy, some dude named Peter. What up, what up? Uh, and directly in front of me now, um, <laughs> resident, table now. resident Mexican, David Quinones. Orale, mi gente. And just, uh, yeah, just so everybody knows, I was late today. Uh, uh, daddy I, problems, but... Uh, it all, it's all good. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're not shooting video today because uh, our producer Hav has COVID. Um, <laughs> supposedly, supposedly. So Puerto Rican COVID though. So I don't even know if that's wow. real. Or not, so. Maybe I think he just has the coronavirus. Oh, so I'm, I'm drinking sorry. too many Coronas. Oh, okay. uh, I thought you like Coronas. That's, um, Either way, uh, Hav's not here, so we can't <laughs> shoot video. Uh, but, thanks, Hav. You know, he was hanging out with Joe Budden this weekend. They both got COVID. <laughs> but unlike the Joe Budden podcast, we didn't come out. We're coming out. That's right, baby. So you know. Rain, sunshine, sunshine, sunshine. Uh-huh. Oh, that's another uh-huh. thing. Yeah, or hail, like or that. snow. I like, that. I like that. We'll play it, but rain or sunshine. Um, sunshine. Quick shout out to baseball. It's over. I don't care because, like I said, I, this season doesn't count for Whoa, me anyway. Whoa, we got to go back. We, we got to go back. No, 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 no. I was in Orlando. All yeah, right. so you messed your chance no, no, to go. No, 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 no. I got to go now. So <laughs> who picked, who picked, who was going to the World Series, and who picked, who was going to win? How many games did they play this round? Uh, I don't remember. Like, like uh, 50, 60? Yeah, I only played 60. Who cares? Oh, so, so just, Come on, are you kidding so, me? So, they played so if the Braves would have won it, it would have been okay, right? No, if the Yankees would have won it, it would have been okay, right? I said at the start of the year. The Yankees would have won it. I said at the start of the year, okay. start of year okay. if your team wins, you think you won a championship. If your team didn't win, it didn't count. <laughs> That's how it goes. So there's a double asterisk on this one. Yeah. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I know you guys are Dodgers haters. Listen, stop hating the Dodgers. I'm not a Dodgers hater. Kershaw finally showed up. Come on. Give him some credit. Hold up. He started 15 games this year. Give him some credit. This is not a usual playoff game where you start 35 starts. You're right about that. He started 15 starts. It's a win. A World Series win is a win. What are you going to do? So the him is a regular season game. That's what happened. He won a regular season game. He's getting a regular season. He's I don't, a regular I don't season count pitcher. It. I don't uh, count Jesus. it. It's asterisk. I don't care. You know why it's double an asterisk? asterisk? Double asterisk. You know why it's an asterisk? Because there's mad Dodger fans when they were down 3-1 to the Braves. Oh, the season don't count anyway. So, I don't want to hear it. I don't care. Yeah, they were real salty, weren't so, they? Talk, talk to me when uh, baseball really comes back. 60-game season isn't a baseball I mean, yeah. Game. Listen, I, I don't care too um, much about the Dodgers. And they cheated. They had turn on the field. Yeah, they had, they had, they had <laughs> triple asterisk. They had agent zero. <laughs> or patient he gave, zero. He gave COVID to patient uh, the zero. other side. Yeah, patient give, zero. Matt's going to give it to the whole team. So, so here's what I'm going to tell I'm, I'm going to tell you what happened. So basically, <laughs> what's his name? Uh, Justin Turner? Not Justin Turner. Oh, the, the, the manager of the Rays. What's the manager of the Rays? Oh, Cash. Uh, Cash. Cash. Kevin, Kevin Cash. Cash got the call. Cash got the call from the commission. He was like, yo, Justin Turner tested positive. We might have a problem because we might have to schedule game seven in two weeks. And Cash got the call. He was like, "All right, I'm gonna take Blake Snell out." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that was that was the that other was it. Thing. Okay. Yeah, it yeah. came from this is right. He, I mean, they took him out in the sixth inning. Listen, he, he they played. Took Justin Turner got stupid. taken out in the sixth inning, and then Blake Snell got after, taken out in the sixth after inning. After no runs given up, he took him. He, 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 he listen, he, he did a good job in the postseason, but yeah, that was a big blunder, man. No, he I did a terrible I, job. I, that was baffling. Baffle. Everybody was baffled. At the end of the day, that was the worst manager of the season in stupid. postseason history. I don't want to hear it. The guy went with the numbers as usual. You go with the numbers in the postseason. Like 70 some odd pitches. Worse than Grady when he took out Pedro Martinez? Yes. Yeah. Because really? You know, because you know what? Grady. Well, oh, that wasn't this one. This was one of the World Series. That was series, the ALCS. This is the ALCS, and this okay. is the okay. World Series. And you basically took out. You basically took out the best pitcher that you had to bring in your third best reliever. Yeah. And he got smacked around. Because what? Because when, you're, when you have it, he hasn't allowed a run the whole game. And the, and the only And they hit, had like 70 pitches. And the and guy he was bringing in was like horrendous. Uh, like, and the only, you know, but the hit, numbers, the only hit was uh, a soft uh, tap. Yeah, yeah, let's get too much on baseball. Yeah, I'm done with baseball. Listen, I had to go. We're done with the Listen, Kevin Cash, you suck. You'll probably never be back in the World Series ever again. You blew it. You took away Blake Snell's World Series moment. He'll probably never be back to a World Series again and have that moment. No, no, no. Listen, I, I, I don't I think, think the Rays come back. That's I, I it. They're so. done. They're so. at 160, that's and a, a good game. And a I mean, that's a good team. That's in a 162-game season, the Rays they don't make the playoffs. They won't make the playoffs. They, they won't make the playoffs. I think they will. No, they won't. No, they won't. Mark my words. Name two players on their roster right now other than Blake Snell. Other than Blake Snell? Yeah. Two players on their roster. You yeah. took too long already. Lost. Okay, Arizona, whatever the hell. You don't even know his name. You don't even know his name. Guy's a beast. They gotta keep. They, they, they gotta keep. You don't even know his name. So I. That's Aros- one. Arizona. Arizona. Yeah, that's yeah. one. That's one. Um. Uh, and time's up. Charlie Moore. Moving on to basketball. Charlie Moore. Charlie, Charlie, Moore. <laughs> Charlie Moore actually opted out of his contract. Did he really? Yeah, he's not coming. Oh, they're not picking up his option. 
<laughs> Either way, we won't see the Rays back here next year. You no. ruined everything. I think if the Rays would have won Game Six, they probably could have won Game Seven. That's probably. just it because the pressure would have been on the Dodgers, and you know what happens in LA when the pressure. <laughs> so, <laughs> LA, LA, big so let's move on. Dreams. Let's move on to sunshine, rain, hail, or sunshine. Um, Pete, talk to me. Yes. Dude. you guys. Notre Dame got an early Christmas gift. Yes, <laughs> definitely did. Notre Dame, I admit you that. guys won yesterday. You're supposed to play Clemson next week, mm-hmm. but Sunshine was out in the South Carolina streets, yep. partying it up. And now he has COVID and he's out. They almost lost yesterday to BC. Yeah, and now 18. they play the game that I was most looking forward to to the college football season is ruined. Yes, <laughs> ruined. Yeah. So I'm gonna let you talk. It is. You mean you, you weren't you weren't happy oh, with Ohio State good. and Penn State yesterday? No, we knew Penn State sucked. <laughs> knew Penn State sucked. We knew Georgia was going to choke against Alabama. Yeah. Uh, what else is left? What else is left out there? What, USC and Oregon? No, we don't care about that. No, or tech, <laughs> the Big 12, that. no one wants to win the Big we 12. No one wants to be yeah, in the Big 12. O- Oklahoma State just killed their chance of doing anything after they lost yesterday and got upset. So, it's, yeah, I mean, this was a game. Different, 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 different college football this year, Because right? it's stupid. Different outlets. Yeah. Different, different, you had three different seasons. You had a season that started at the start. You got a season when the Big, big um, when the SEC finally joined. No, excuse me, when the Big 10 finally joined. And then you're going to have another season starting next week when the Pac-12 joins. So it's like three different brackets of teams starting. So it's weird. So basically, it's stupid. Yeah. Uh, uh, whoever wins this is probably another asterisk. Go, yeah. Because Pac-12, <laughs> Pac-12, the ACC, 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 SEC, Big Ten start or ACC, Big Twelve, and SEC started around the same time. Then yeah. three weeks later, the Big Ten comes in. Somehow, the Big Ten has a top five ranked team. Yeah. Well, I don't know how to play the game. Yeah. But they're in there. And then next week, the Pac-12 comes in. It's stupid. Like, how you gonna have, I, th- I think the championship, gonna, I think the championship have, should be between the three conferences that started yeah. in September. But not, this don't is have what we, and, th- and this is what we talked about. Like, like, college football had all this time to prepare. They had, you know, baseball to look back at. Yeah. They had, you know, the NFL to look at. You know, basketball, hockey, it's and... It's just going to be so dumb just, at the end of the year when you're looking and you see one team is 6-0 and they and they're in the Final compare, Four, I mean, and another team is 12-1. and one. Like, come on, we played twice the amount of games. How the hell are they in there 6-0? It's Wait, stupid. The one game I was looking forward to the most, which I thought was probably the best game in the college football season, mm-hmm. was Notre Dame and Clemson. So 2020, again, has uh, ruined something <laughs> else. Uh, I still think it'll be a good game. Clemson's a good team overall, so I think. Yeah, but you, you got you want to see Clemson with, with Trevor Lawrence. Out. Yeah, I think Clemson would have won if Trevor Lawrence had played, but now I think it'll be even game. Even game. Even I game. Really, yeah. I think the spread was only seven for you. Uh, yeah. I think I think it'll be. Yeah. I'm surprised it was seven because Clemson's actually looked really good this year. So you guys don't believe in uh, DJ? I don't even know how to say his last name. You? No. DJ? You? No. 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 Of course. You don't, not. Think, you don't think he's I mean, that good? Still, I still think. They I, 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 I think, think I think he's a pretty good talent. I still though. think Clemson will win, but I'm, I'm, not, I think I'm not believing too. in him. Well, is the winner of this game going to win the I'm ACC? A- yeah, which would really suck if Notre Dame won the ACC for one year. <laughs> one year. Because there's an asterisk on it? <laughs> well, but they let, they let Notre Dame in for one year. They say, yeah, I you know, can I play know, with I us. Know. And now, now they're going to take the title off right now. That's like a wrestling move. Like, yeah, we're going to step into your organization, take the title, and leave. Like, that's what they're allowing Notre Dame to do. Well, if they win. You, cause, because it's all about money, as usual. And Notre Dame needs opponents. Yeah. And because Notre Dame doesn't have a conference. And they bring in money. There you go. That's it. That's all, that's all it is. That's, that's all why, it is. That's why when everybody keeps saying, oh, Notre Dame has to join the conference. No, they don't. Like, everybody wants to play them so and because they bring in money. So they don't have to join anything. Well, they've always had that aura, you know. About, they have their own you know, network. Uh, They're always just, on NBC. Just, they've always had that, that name. They have I mean, their no own No matter network. what. You know, they could they could be a bad team. A good, I mean, they, they just and they'll never they and they'll never join a conference because if they win a national championship, they get like a bonus fifteen million by themselves. Yeah, yeah. So they're never yeah. going to join a conference. That's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. no right. other Pretty team cool. does. No other team can say that. All right. With that being said, I mean, fuck college football this year. I think it's just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's just <laughs> off. Huh? I just, it just they didn't ruin it though. They, listen again. I, I mean, like Ohio State's already. Uh, if the, if there was a. College football playoff scenario tomorrow, yeah, or Tuesday, Ohio whenever they State's do it. In. Ohio State's in it. They want to play two games. games. Yeah, that's, that's just retarded. That that's, I mean, again, uh, excuse my language. I know we can't say that anymore. That's just dumb. Yeah. Dumb. So, with that being said, who's been the most impressive college football team to you, Dave? Uh, you know, listen. I'll be honest with you. I really, you know, haven't been watching too much college football. You're fired. So You're fired. I haven't. I just. <laughs> That's it. I'll be Dre, honest. Dre, where you at, Dre? I, I haven't. Where you at, Dre? I haven't had too Dre. much time, man. I mean, listen. Uh, um, you know, being on vacation. I mean, uh, I just really what wasn't you, what worried. Are you on vacation if you don't watch sports. No, dude. I, I was 
I was partying it up with Mickey Mouse, dude, and, and wow. Donald Duck. Are you kidding me? I, I guarantee. I was having a great time in I, Disney. I, I guarantee. I mean, you guys, you guys should really try that. I guarantee you know, it, it really will. I've like, been there once in high school. For in high school, yeah, for a senior trip. Okay, but uh, that's that's the most I think I ever go to Disney uh, for now. Um, do you have any pumpkin beer? Pumpkin. Really, Dave? Look at that. <laughs> pumpkin beer. I'll take one. Pumpkin yeah. beer. If not, I'll take you yeah. beer as well. So. Pumpkin beer. Yeah, I don't want to let go of Halloween. Come on. <laughs> pumpkin beer. What's wrong with you? It's November first. Pumpkin beer. It's yeah. over. That's it. Yeah. Season's over. <laughs> Dave, Dave's a Freddy Krueger eating the cereal after day after. <laughs> Love it, baby. I so love yeah, if you, if, from what you watch uh, since you've been hanging out with Disney characters, um, who, who's who was the, impressive who's to make you the most? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess Clemson. I mean, I've been watching some highlights here and there. I mean, I don't know if Clemson should surprise me because obviously with Trevor Lawrence, uh, they're probably the favorite, you know, in everything. Right so now. in college football, so um, you know, I, I just think that it, it's going to be interesting to see. You know how this year unfolds, obviously because of what we just talked about. But um, you know, Clemson's just—you know—they're impressive to me every year, I guess, and um, you know, they're impressive to me too. So. I'm gonna go some some kind of different. I'm gonna go with Cincinnati. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cincinnati's undefeated. Uh, yesterday was supposed to be their toughest game against Memphis. Mm-hmm. I've seen a lot of uh, people predicting, you know, Memphis three and a half. Yeah. Memphis got three and a half yesterday. Everyone said that's a lock. They expected Memphis to win the game. What did Cincinnati go out and do? They blow Memphis out the fucking door. They send them back to Tennessee to catch more COVID. And it's just, it's just, is Cincinnati, if they run a table, will they be in the college football Final Four? Probably not. You, you'll have a two-loss Georgia team over them. You'll have a two-loss Clemson team over them if that happens. You'll have a four-loss Alabama. You, you'll, have a, you'll, have a, you'll have a three and three Ohio State over them. Alabama could be five, 500 so, and still get it. I like it. It's the, it's the American Conference now. I mean, I, I don't know what, what is it. They all um, AEC. Yeah, AAC, AAC. I like the brand of football. It's kind of like the Big Twelve, but they actually do have some defense in, installed into it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I like Cincinnati. I, I don't think they'll get into the playoff. Yeah, I don't you. think they'll get into the playoff at all. But I also think they'll get into one of the New Year's Six bowls. And they'll definitely. Uh, they'll definitely. You know, get, they deserve to be there. That's it. I, I like Cincinnati. I like the way they play football. I, I I do like Clemson. I think they have been the most impressive team this year. But I do want to give a shout out for being impressed that Rutgers won their first game of the year against Michigan State because then, then they, Rutgers. Then they blew it. Are, <laughs> but yeah, but I, I'm trying to get them a delayed delayed win because they've been so horrible for all these years that they've been in the Big Big Ten so far. Getting blown out by 70 points by Michigan oh, sure. and 70 by for Ohio sure. State. For them to actually start the year with a win against Michigan State was big for that program. And it was the first, obviously, as Shiano King came back. So hopefully he can build off to that. So I was impressed with that win. But overall, as the best, most impressed team, I have to say Clemson because Clemson's just rolling. They're putting up 30, 40 points on every team, like with a out of blank where he doesn't even have to play the fourth Yeah, I didn't want to say Clemson just because. Yeah, yeah. Easy, so that's why I have to throw in the record. Well, that's but yeah, I mean, I, Rutgers, uh, Greg Schiano's back. I mean, that's great. I'm, I'm super happy Greg yeah. Schiano's back. Hopefully they can turn around. Because I think he will turn around. Um, he's a legit good he, recruiter. He's a legit good recruiter. Yeah. He, he recruits in the Tri-State area, which has so much talent. Big. He leaves. So, and he so also goes to Florida, and he beats guys down. And he mm-hmm. beats the Miamis. He beats the Florida States. He beats the Floridas. He beats them. I mean, that's, that's just it. So I think Rutgers, you know, maybe not this year, but maybe next year we'll see a 10-win season. Obviously you can't see it this year because they're only playing like six games. But yeah. <laughs> so maybe they finish 4-2 and two and they get into, you know, one of the – Yeah, because it might be the pinstripe You definitely got to give them a couple years because, like, when you go into a program, there's like 100 people on a college football team. It takes like two, three years for it to get your guys in there. So, yeah, but he's definitely going to turn them around. All right, well – that's, I think that's all we're going to talk about college football because uh, it's like baseball. Kind of not interested this year as much <laughs> yeah. as I was. Um, Football's the only sport to play in the whole season. Basically, you know, and the NBA bubble was cool while it lasted. The NHL was cool. But, yeah, it's, it's Sunday fun day as usual. So I'm going to pose this question to you guys. And, again, shout-out to Hob, COVID-19 positive. And hi! And uh, hi! I hope, uh, I hope everything's good, man. Um, yeah. hope you're okay. Hope we I got a vaccine in my car, bro. So if you want, I'll hell? give it to you. So come down. Um, I got it. I got it from Puerto Rico, though, so I don't know how effective it is. But. I don't know either. It's probably about as effective as the one they're going to put out there. So, so. <laughs> I hope you've been uh, eating your vitamins and, uh, you know. Flintstone Hulk, vitamins? What Hulk Hogan used to say. But let's talk about football, man. Yeah. Because that, that's basically what it is. It's the only sport. It's been a crazy season already. Mad COVID. 
mad people were injured. Like, it's uh, uh, Jose Mora had the right idea. I should have stuck out of fantasy football this year. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Every every week, someone's hurt. Shout someone, out Jose. Shout out to my boy Jose. Every week, either someone's hurt, shout someone has COVID. Out. But anyways, oh, really? let's talk about the games, Dave. If you had one team to put up or shut up this week, who do you think that is? I'm gonna go with the sorry NFC East, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with the uh, um, the Philadelphia Eagles. God damn it! Like, he picked the team I was gonna pick. Are, are, are they gonna put up or shut? I, now, first off, who the hell is gonna win this damn division? Because this division is just football horrendous. Oh. I mean, you got all kinds of you know things going. Now they're saying Dwayne Haskins is. They're, they're, they're trying to get fewers. I mean, this is this is ridiculous. This division, um, but. Listen, I think for me, and I hate to say it, but I think the Eagles, you know, look like you know the better team of this division right now. Oh, they especially don't. how everything is unfolded. And like, like, listen, like, 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 Philly, man. like this, 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 this last win against the Giants. Like, is this going to propel them to something no. now? So <laughs> yeah, they're they're facing the they're facing Danucci. Um, I don't even know who yeah, or the hell is Danucci. I like the name though, Danucci, like Danucci. Yeah, their quarterback, they're they fighting each other. Danucci. They said he's a cocky motherfucker. Is he really? <laughs> yeah. Well, sometimes it's all it takes. So, yeah, but, but exactly. Are the Eagles playing um, University of <laughs> Texas monster. at all? Some North type Western of monster. Or something like that. <laughs> so listen, like, like, w- w- what type of team is going to come out? I mean, yeah, they've had their injuries. You know, the Eagles. Um, you know, your 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 boy at quarterback. I mean, who you love. Um, you know, does he come out? Does he this? do anything? <laughs> this? <laughs> Who's my boy at quarterback? Wow. Your boy at quarterback, the guy you picked up in fantasy football. Wow, Carson Wentz. Yes, sir. Wow. I hate Carson. It's your Wentz. boy, but you picked him up in wow. fantasy football. Well, because we played a two QB. I'm leagues. just saying. And I don't I know you. Kinda, kinda, well, no, we don't. No, so, we don't. So, so MSR, you're, you're, are your boys Dak Prescott and Elliott? Because you've had them on your fantasy. No, team. I don't. He's got a no, but you've had them on your team. No, 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 Dak. Dak, I drafted for a reason. I drafted him for a reason. Come on, I thought he was going to put like forty points every. Can you share the context? Can you share context that? Deshaun Watson is on a bye, and I needed a backup I'm just quarterback. saying, you, you, you picked up Wentz. Uh, I mean, there, there were so many other Desha- people you could have picked up. Who? You want me to pick I up Tua? I pick up Derek Carr. <laughs> yeah, Tua. You never know. Tua against the Come Rams. On, yeah. Tua against course. Aaron Donald. Rookie wow. quarterback Listen, against Tua, the Rams. Tua is going to be good. Wow. wow. Not today. He, he's, How many points do you think he's going to Not today. Get? It could be like 10. No. No way. It'll be 28 no. to 10. No more than 15. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. No surprised. I think he's going to have a good game. I think he's going to have one touchdown. Game. One. I'm not saying he's going to have a forty point game. He doesn't and have Jerry he's gonna Judy. Have a, he's going to have. A, he's he going to have, have Jerry good. Judy. Two hundred and forty <laughs> yards, one touchdown, one interception. I say two hundred and fifty yards, one passing, one running. Wow. wow. There's no Jerry Judy. At wow. least. At least. There's no, there's no wow. rugs. There's no Judy. We'll there's no see. rugs. There's no Judy. I know there's no rugs and no Judy. Let me uh, make sure I start Devontae Parker. Don't underestimate he, And he's not playing the Georgia defense. Damn. He's playing Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, and them boys. Oh, he is. He is. Oh, <laughs> so, wow. So not only, he got, he right, got, so, not only does he have to com- compete with the best interior lineman in football, probably the best lineman in football, but hands down top three cornerback in football. Okay, well, we'll see. I, I, listen, d- d- give the kid more credit. I know you he hasn't guys played a game. I, I, I know you guys. I know you guys had your your your, your iffies, you know, after his injury and stuff like that. But I, no, I, I'm I don't still want, so I don't want problem. Injury. So, so, just so, his first game. So are you, so, so are we drifting away from the Eagles had to put up a share up that two? No, right? no, not at all. No, no, no. You, <laughs> you're the one that brought it up. You're the one that picked up. You said Wentz, yeah, but I, I, listen, I, I think Cars is is better than Wentz. I mean, if you think about it, he's having a better season than Wentz. I started. You're the one that said that you you know not. I was joking. I'm not a. I was I was joking. Derek but fan, there's honestly. definitely there's I'd definitely better people than Wentz. I'd rather Wentz. Is, is there, is, is there not better people than Wentz though? If not in our league, I don't know about that. No, and, and against the Cowboys defense, Cowboys defense. They better have to the, they suck bad. the Giants put Shout up more than they suck. Shout out to Matt. They suck. The Giants put up more than thirty points against the Cowboys defense. Atlanta, they suck. Remember, remember that. So I, I'll take Carson Wentz over Derek Carr. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He's picking up. He's picking. He's picking up a lot of Eagles uh, players. So because that's all that's know. left. There's no more Eagles. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's all that's left. I actually dropped the Eagles. Everybody I'm a look. I actually dropped a look. I, I just want Buster Scott on my team this week. So, but listen, but l- listen again. L- I'm sorry. I, I, we, we did venture off a little bit because of me. Listen again. It doesn't matter where I'm artist. Put up a shirt. Up. Who's gonna win this division? And Eagles got to put up right now. So. Okay. All right. So since Dave took my Eagles pick, Sorry, I'm gonna buddy. I'm gonna switch it and actually say the Cleveland Browns. Okay. The Cleveland Browns started out horribly, getting blown out the first week of the season. They won three in a row, and we're like, all right, 
Now they may be starting to click and they're starting to get it going. And then they get blown out by Pittsburgh again. They, they get beat up by their divisional foes every single time. And they have to start winning now. They have to start being over 500. They can't, they're 5 and 2. They can't lose a game like they did today. last week. They only won by three. They bit, they almost got upset by Joe Burrow in that game at the last second. They should have. They, they should have. They should have lost that game. They, they, lost. they have to find a way to get this going. And I think Baker Mayfield plays better without Odell. I just don't think they connect. I don't think they, they work well together. And I think he's, he forces the ball to Odell, and that causes a lot of his turnovers. I think now that they'll have Rashard Higgins in there, they'll go to more two tight end sets with him and Njoku, with Njoku and with um, – with the other t- the rookie tight end uh, Harrison Harrison Bryant, yeah. and I think that they'll be more efficient on offense, and I think they're going to win big today. All right, so I'm a, I'm a <clears throat> since um, you know Dave hijacked I should, I still, I, I, Dave I, hijacked I, the segment. Really? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm, just kidding. I'm going to give you three put ups to shut up for right wow. now. Wow. Number I like one. It. Number he, one. He was really thinking about number this. one. NBC. What the fuck are you doing putting the Cowboys and Eagles at 8:20 today? I know, I saw. When, you could have put both scores. <laughs> when you've got so many good games, yeah, I hope the scores. ratings are terrible, mm-hmm. and you actually put good games and not just bad teams because they have big fan base. They should have changed that. So you should have changed it. You changed. You changed the Bucks and the Raiders last week, which yeah, which for, you should have left. Which you should have left, right? I get it. Seattle and Arizona was a good game. Yeah, it's Tom but, Brady. But it's Tom if you Brady. Want my ratings, yeah. But th- th- I mean, you're peasing the Cowboys. That's it. Like, that's it. That's yeah. all. That's all it is. Every year, it's the Cowboys. They're the sexy pick. They're the sexy team, and they end up sucking. Like, how many times do I have to tell you these things? <laughs> but every year, you do it. I'm glad. I hope they're, I'm not watching tonight. I'm not. I don't think I have anyone in that game but Zeke. And I'm Zeke watch. De- I got, I got and if Zeke decides to, sh- <laughs> if Zeke decides to show up, then great. If not, whatever. I got Wentz and Boston Scott. Well, I do have Wentz, <laughs> but I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Second, I think. The Baltimore Ravens have to put up or shut up. And here's why. And here's why. Here's why. Here's why. They were the number one seed last year. Yeah. But guess what? This division belonged to Ben Roethlisberger for all his time. And you got the division last year. Why? Because Big Ben was not there. Now. Then you got your ass kicked in the playoffs. Then you got your ass kicked in the playoffs. (laughs) Now, Big Ben is back. This is your chance to make a statement. This is your chance to tell the Browns. Well, never mind the Browns. This is your chance to tell the Steelers that this is our division. It ain't that. I can see that. So, it's your division or it's not. Same thing for the team in Western New York. This is your time to tell Bill Belichick. That's a good one. And the New England Patriots that this is your division. Tom Brady's not here. I don't care. We made it to the playoffs a couple years in a row, but you never won a division. This is time to tell Bill Belichick this is the Buffalo Bills division, and you do that with a win today. And if you don't, leave the door wide open for Bill Belichick. It's now or never. And, and, and you know, now or never. And you know what's funny about that? That actually leads into the game I wanted to see the most this week. I wanted to see New England Buffalo because I want to see if Buffalo can shut the door on them. This is your chance to completely lock them out. You'll have a 3-4 game lead on them because you'll have the tiebreaker also. You will completely stop the Patriots' run if you knock them out this week. Well, if you lose this week, all of a sudden, oh, we still can't beat the, we still can't beat the no, Patriots. Not only like. We we suck. We we beat this team up all the time. We're good now, but we still can't beat the Patriots. Like that, it's a mental edge if they can't get by them. Sure. Not only that, to, to, to get out of the funk too. Because I mean, listen, you, you yeah, look you, you, you look at the Bills, man. The last three four weeks, yeah. they've been in like this weird funk. Yeah, I, look, I mean, and, and eighteen listen, to ten versus and, and, the Jets. I was about to say, yeah. and they could have easily lost that game right after the Jets. losing the two games. So, so it's uh, weird. So they're in a bit of a funk. I think they need this. If they win this game. I think, man, this can really propel and get him back on track for this season. So, so Pete told him the game he's most looking forward to. Dave, what's the game that you're most looking forward Listen, to? Listen, for me, guys, I think it's the Seattle Seahawks versus the San Francisco 49ers. Seahawks obviously got their last, uh, uh, their first loss last week. 49ers, it, it's crazy how many injuries that they've gone through, how much stuff that they've gone through this, you know, this season. But they're still in it, and and, and they're showing. They're getting. It's weird. They're getting stronger and stronger. Every year, it doesn't matter who's at running back. They still have a Jimmy rushing G, game. Man. They it's don't crazy, lose Jimmy man. G plays. And Jimmy G had a bad game. Yeah. Did you see that? That was an ugly game last week. But, but they were able to win, though. Well, you got to do pulled it. away, and it, it, was, it was by how many points? Yeah. I mean, they, it's crazy. So, I'm really excited for that game. Uh, um, listen, Russell Wilson, I think, easily, right now, he's the MVP of this league. I uh, disagree. You know, w- without, without Russell Wilson... 
that team, that team is not where they're at right now. For sure. So this guy, I think, is the MVP, but his defense, he's got no defense. This guy has to, you know, put that up. used to be the staple oh, of it's Seattle. It's crazy. They were, but it, they, their staple. defense. Look at these teams. They're, they're scoring at will on, on, on their defense. You know what? So, they, they have to pay everybody. That's the thing. You, they had all these <laughs> yeah, young guys right, who are making right, no money. Yeah, they had no, to pay them and no. let them go because they're paying Russell Wilson. But, I, I, listen, I think this is going to be an exciting game. Um, I can't wait to see it. Um, you know, I still believe in Seattle, and and I just I, I like Russell Wilson a lot, man. I, I like I that guy a lot. I, I, I think I think I think he's 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 again he's the MVP, best player in this league right now. Um, we'll see. Right well, I disagree with you on the MVP. Um, you gotta say Rogers. I disagree with, I'm, de- I'm definitely I disagree gonna say Rogers. I disagree with the best player in the league too. I, I definitely think the MVP is Rogers. I think Rogers has no receivers. His running back's been hurt for basically half the games this year, and somehow still only have one loss. And I think. He's got, one I th- I think he, he's, still, he's got one receiver. And he still has hey, no he, wide receivers. He's missed. He's, he's, got missed. One. he's missed. He's missed four or five yeah, games. But, so. and, and Adams missed a game a couple games. Too. That's what I'm saying. He's missed yeah. four or five games. Right. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you know, to play at the high level, and I, and here's the thing. I think last game against the Bucks, if he doesn't throw that pick six, it's a different ball game. But again, that's why they play the games because yeah. you can tell he's pissed and he's started the force thing. And then they they stopped running the ball. Wide receivers suck that game. They no, were they dropping balls, the ball, tipping it up in the air. They stopped like, running the ball. Yeah, too. Well, I was gonna say I stopped running. Yeah, but. It was weird to see Rodgers like that, him. though. I mean, I mean, he looked totally out of sync. He was out of sync, but two of the turnovers man. weren't on him. But listen, and, and to his credit, though, dude, that, that that Buccaneers defense is for real. It's really good. You see yeah. what they do to to, to to like big running backs? They're really good. And, and good quarterbacks? Woo! That that Tampa Bay Buccaneers Sue's defense Sue's right Sue's now is player. right next yeah. to Pitt. Oh, no. Oh, no. We know, know Sue's yeah. dirty player. Yeah. So, yeah. so, in terms of the game I'm looking most forward to, that aside from the two that you mentioned, because I, I would have picked those two. Mm-hmm. But I like the Saints Bears game uh, in terms of stature for the NFC. Right? Mm-hmm. These are two teams that aren't quite the best team in the NFC, mm-hmm. but they still have to make a position where whether it's you know Seattle, I mean Seattle, uh, the Saints chasing the Bucks. They need to win this game to keep pace with the Bucks. So if yeah. they want to win the division, yeah. perhaps get a home game with the new playoffs. Oh, well, you go, Derek Carr. Uh, <laughs> It, baby. And, and then the Bears, right? The Bears, still, the, the Bears are also chasing. Yeah. They're chasing Aaron Rodgers, yeah. right? And they're not gonna catch. We we don't <laughs> we don't think either team is as good as their record says. Yeah, right. Five and two and four and two. Mm-hmm. Like the Saints, if if they don't, Saints are weird. They're dude. just a weird team, man. Like losing to the Raiders one night and then coming it's out so and beating beating the Bucks and then the, the Bears. It's Michael Thomas, bitch ass. <laughs> well, what, what's his Twitter name actually? <laughs> Can't can't get Mike or something like that. Or can't 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 guard Mike, can't guard right? Mike. And I think we don't need to guard him. You can't get his ass on the field. I, I, I think part of the problem too is Breeze, guys. I mean, listen, yeah, he, but he's he, listen. he don't have that big zip. I agree with that. He, he doesn't have that big arm anymore. I agree with that. He, mean, doesn't, he doesn't have it anymore. And, and at his height, at his height, I mean, because he was he listen. Breeze has always been that exception, right? What are the what are the natural heights usually for a good quarterback? Like six, you know, six, three, six, six, four, six four. And what is what is he? He's six about one, six, six feet. One, yeah. I thought he was like five something. Though. No, I, that's that's Kyler. Nah, that's, that's I thought all, he was five. I didn't think he was Russell past Wilson's or five at least six, six, like six, feet. six, six feet. If you if you give him like you know the big like whatever. Four, two. But listen, I mean, uh, he, he's missing that zip. He's missing that zip. He can't he can't throw that. that long ball anymore, and that's that's showing this year. I mean, they've been leaning on you know Kamara. So much, um, but you're right. Michael right, Thomas yeah, not man. having your big wide receiver as well. Well, there's a, there's a rumor going around that he's not well liked in the locker room. No, oh, he's an asshole. So, <laughs> so, hey, so, so, some, so someone ass. said uh, yeah. he's an asshole. Someone, That's someone said that somebody, I, don't, I read this on Twitter that there's a rumor going around that they make fun mm-hmm. of his Twitter handle. Like can't guard Mike. <laughs> they say don't like Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I can't guard Mike. That's, that's his so Twitter, where name. That's that, Twitter name. Where does that come from? That's, that's, that's his Twitter name. What is he yeah. trying to say? Yeah, you know, can't guard him. You can't. You can't guard him one on one. So someone in the locker room. It kind of sounds like Michael Jordan. It, it like, does, like you but, can't guard Michael Jordan. But, but like, but you know, he, yeah, what is he trying to say? He's, he's like, a, he's he's like a, the equivalent of Michael Jordan. He's a, yeah, he may be saying that. That's what he thinks. He <laughs> yeah, he's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. He's. But anyway, I like. I want to see that game just because. We need to find out what the Bears are. We need Foles to find out what the Saints yeah. are. Your boy Foles, right? Uh, I mean, Foles, tell, Foles literally <laughs> shitted on his coach and then had to apologize. <laughs> he, didn't, he, didn't shit, he didn't shit on him in a way where it's like, oh, yeah, Matt Nagy sucks. He basically told Tom Rinaldi that like, when, when Nagy calls the plays, <laughs> I literally know I won't have time okay, to run this play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, Nagy does suck. Dude. Shout out to Mike. We, we give him bad shout outs this week. I don't care. But shout out to Mike on, on Twitter. Yeah, you, you, I know you defend Nagy all the time. Nagy's not good. He's not. <laughs> all right, well. He's a horrible play caller. I, you know, I just, I just, I think that's, the, that's one of the four o'clock games. I'm interested. A lot of, we go from 
crappy four o'clock games last week to you know two good ones this week. So hopefully they deliver. You know, last week there was like ten great one o'clock. What? Tony Brown's been staying at Tom Brady's house. <laughs> Right. Wow. And, and then he, well, he's got a big house though. Uh, yeah, he brought it from Jeter. I was about to say he's got, he's got a big house. It's a big house, right? All right, well, Fred's a big house. Good oh, for him. God. Good for him. All right, so we're gonna close out the show in like five minutes. We're gonna give you ten minutes back because Howe's not here. Howe yeah. does bring ten minutes to the show with yeah. you know the things that he says and also playing his orchestra, playing his orchestra, <laughs> making comments, throwing so, flags, yeah, throwing yeah, flags. Yeah. You know, yeah, we I, all I, that. I hope he uh, recovers from having a little charts too. Yeah. Hope he recovers from COVID. Uh, you know. Very soon. Got I, got, I, I, I got, I got, again, I got the vaccine. It's called Medaya in oh my, my car. God. If you need it, you let me know. Oh All, right. All right. So we're, we're going to go with William Hill Sports Sides because that's kind of uh, what Caesars uses. Um, I know I love DraftKings because they give you boosts and stuff. Yeah. We're gonna go with right? DraftKings, yeah. 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 So we're, we're going to go with the games that we picked. Patriots, Bills, Buffalo, four. Favored by four. I'm going to you first. Does Buffalo win and cover? Yes. Do they cover? No. Okay. Ooh, I think wow. they win. They don't cover. I think it's going to be a close game, even though um, I think this is going to be, again, kind of like what you said, put up or shut up. It's now or never. Dude, you got to win this freaking this game. game right got to win this game. Especially what's going on over there, man. I mean, they're in disarray as well. So. All right. I'm going to leave Pete for last. This is the game he chose. Um, I'm going to go with Bills, and they do cover. I think they just have been out of a funk. And this is a game that they need to wake up to. You know, you, you thought you'd probably lose against the Chiefs, right, because they're the best team, Super Bowl champions. You might have a chance to lose against the Titans, right? AFC East, I mean, AFC uh, championship contenders, Derrick Henry. So, all right, I'll give you those two games. The beast. Then the Jets, uh, you know what, we can play our worst football and still beat the Jets. Here it is. This is your game. There's no more excuses. Like I said, put up or shut up. New England doesn't have anyone on offense. They literally don't. And Keel Harry, Adam out. Out of IR. Out of IR. They literally have no one. If no Damian one. Bird. If Damian Bird beats you, you <laughs> fire the coach tomorrow. <laughs> He's gone. You, what, what's his name? Uh, Who? The, the Bills coach? Oh, McDermott? You, Sean McDermott. You fire him tomorrow. Ernie hates that dude. <laughs> <laughs> Ernie hates that. Dude. Fire tomorrow. He wants to fire now. Tomorrow. Well, may- maybe Stidham is going to be a wide receiver. Who knows? You know? I, your well, boy, your maybe. boy Stidham. Yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying. You, you, you got to put him in at some point. <sighs> maybe they should trade for Hill. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Some, I, I don't know why no one <laughs> traded for... For good. my boy uh, Fitzpatrick, Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Fitzmagic? I think yeah, that, somebody needs. Yeah. Somebody, the, cow, the, the Cowboys. Cowboys the Cowboys, Cowboys. Cowboys. starting Banucci. Cowboys would have been the best. No, Banucci. Dinucci. I don't even know his name. Dinucci. Did he go to freaking Division II school? <laughs> I have no <laughs> clue. Cool in Delaware State. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I like the Bills and I like them to win by a touchdown. That's a tough one to make because I think it's going to be a field goal game that's either right, way. That's, that's right. That's so right. that's why I, I definitely aren't picking the Bills to cover. I'll I'm say that. The cover. I'm actually going to say New England wins the game. Wow, I, I think, really? I, I think that they still have the mental edge over Buffalo. I think Bill Belichick, it, Josh Allen never plays well against New England, and I don't think it's going to start right now. So I think that New England wins the game by three. Even with no Gilmore. Yeah. I mean, this is a big that's game. That's what I'm saying. Gilmore's this is a big game. Gilmore, Gilmore, there's no excuse. Wow. Gilmore's not even playing either. I think New England. He's still not even playing, no, really? He's not playing. No, he's not Why? playing. Why? Because of COVID? No, he's hurt. I know. He got, oh, hurt, in pra- okay. he got hurt in practice. So I, I think that New England finds a way to win this game by three. Wow. If that McDermott should be fired tomorrow if they win. That's all I got to say. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to go with, obviously, the game of the week. Right now, William Hill. Wow, dropped in line. William Hill. It was four. What is it now? It, three and a half. Right. So Ravens are favored by three and a half against the Steelers. This is a tough game. Wow. This is a real tough game. What do you um, think? I want the Ravens to win, but I, I think they lose this game. Uh, I, I really think. Listen, that Steelers defense. I mean, they're it's pretty bad. They are. They are stopping everybody. Except, um, except, the, except the Titans in the second half. Yeah, second half. That's right. That's right. So, but, but, I, I, I mean, with Ben being healthy and him having all these, I mean, listen, I, I, I just, again, I, I, I like, I, I like Lamar Jackson, um, but yeah, I, 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 I think the Pitt, Pittsburgh wins this game. What's the spread again? You said three and a half. Right? Yeah. So I think, yeah, well, I, I think Pitt wins this. Cover. Cover. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I think they're gonna win. I'm, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say Steelers. I'm going to say the Ravens win by a field goal. Um, 
I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be one of those black and blue games that you have between the Ravens and the Steelers. You're gonna see a lot of guys get hurt. So I mean, if you got fantasy guys in this game, you might you might not be playing them next week. So <laughs> so knock on wood, I got Lamar Jackson and uh, their their tight end. So <laughs> I don't have any Steelers. Mark so. Andrews, yeah, Mark. <laughs> so uh, I think it's gonna be a, a very good, very smash mouth football game where people get injured, and I see it being a field goal game. And I see the Ravens winning, but not covering. Uh, once again, I'm going to disagree with both of you. I think the Ravens win the game. I think they win it by six or seven. Wow. Uh, I, think, cover. I think the Ravens are one of the top regular season teams in football. Uh, it's very similar. Well, Kansas City proved they can do it in the postseason, but the Ravens proved last year when they went 14-2. and two, they, They're a regular season team. They haven't proved in the playoffs yet, but I think that in the regular season, they're probably the best best or second best team in football so I think they're going to win this game and I think they win it by touchdown let me add one more thing though so before before we move on so um, they signed somebody who did they sign who wide receiver who Ravens Ravens, Ravens. Ravens. Des Bryant Des Bryant he's on the practice squad what do you, what do you, I know what do you guys think of that signing um I mean, they've always flirted with him a lot. They, even even the past couple couple of years, because he hasn't played since 2017. I think, so I think, even I the past couple the years, day, they were well, flirting I, with him. I think he'll. He, you know what he's going to be? He's going to be Brandon Marshall when he plays with the Giants. Yeah. Maybe just, I don't even know if it'll be that much. Yeah. To be just honest. nothing, yeah. dude. I mean, if, you, if yeah. the Ravens want to make a statement, then they should have signed Antonio Brown. Yeah, but, I yeah mean, which <laughs> I thought they would have signed him too. But, but yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be a big impact. Either All way. right. So moving on to the four four o'clock games, which we each pick one. Uh, Saints Bears Saints by four and a half. I'm gonna start. Um, it's gonna be cold in Chicago. Woo! Um, oh, I know you, where you're going. Now. You know, you know what I think about Drew Brees <laughs> in the outdoors. He's a dumb quarterback. <laughs> you mean there's not gonna be any covering? There's no covering. Oh, wow! Soldier Woo. Field. Woo! It's gonna be cold. It might not be 30. I think it's like 40 degrees. Whatever. Anything under 70 degrees for Drew Brees ain't good. Mm-hmm. So I think. Uh, I'm gonna say the Bears don't win, but they but if you bet them, you'll win money. Okay. I, I'm gonna go field goal to one point game uh, because I just don't know Matt. You know Matt Nagy, Charles Nagy, you know <laughs> Dick Nagy, whatever his first name is. He's a terrible coach. Um, and there's only so much BDN my guy Nick Foles can do for you if you don't give him time. Uh, but I, but yeah, I think it'll be. Uh, I think the Saints will win by either three, less than three. Uh, I'm going to go with the Saints to cover that spread. Uh, I think the Saints will, they're getting used to playing without Mike, Michael Thomas, and he was a big factor early in the year where if he played, they, they can cover. If he doesn't play, they're not going to cover. But now they're, they're covering without him now. They're learning how to give the ball more to Kamara. And I think because they're going to give the ball more to Kamara, they're taking the ball out of Breeze's hands, which, which will help them in the cold weather. So I think they'll win by a touchdown. Yeah, right, listen. Uh, uh, we go to you. Oh, I started. I'm sorry. Are you drunk? Is, is there anything <laughs> in there? It's, uh, it's uh, Irish strong coffee. Strong Irish coffee. Irish coffee. Irish coffee. Irish coffee. Pretty good. Irish coffee. So, um, yeah, listen. This is this is going to be again one of those tough games to pick as well. So, uh, I'm going to go with the Saints uh, by three. Saints are getting healthy, obviously on the defensive side. Um, you know they're getting some. You know, healthy with some of those key defensive players back. Obviously having. Not having Michael Thomas is pretty big, but uh, I'm just not really sold on on, on, on the Bears' offense. Right, Obviously, man. they have one of the best defenses uh, in the league, but that offense, I mean, and, you know, like you guys said, their offensive coordinator sucks, so I'm going with the Saints by three. So it's going to be a close game. Uh, the weather's going to be a little factor, but nothing crazy. Um, All right, so we, we got five minutes left. Well, actually, we have a minute left. Yeah, yeah. So real quick. <laughs> Ten and a half, Eagles, Cowboys. Eagles oh, favor. Oh. <laughs> That's not what we're going to end with, but real quick. Real quick. Just real quick. I just got to get it in there. Eagles cover, Eagles cover. Eagles cover. I'll go Eagles win, Cowboys cover. I'll go Eagles win, Cowboys cover as well. Last game we'll talk about before we go. The Dave that Dave picked. Saint C- I'm saying Seahawks. Seahawks 49ers. Love this game. 49ers. This game Seahawks favored by one and a half. Woo. I'm going to let you go last. I'm going to go 49ers win outright. I'm going to win 49ers win outright, too. So. I'm going to go 49ers win outright, too, because that's who I thought. That's who I thought going into this game was going to win. Uh, I, I, again, I like Seattle, but I, for some reason, man, I, my gut tells me San Francisco's going to pull it down. Wow. Uh, so, there you have it. Bananas. We'll be back next week from the Titan Room. Yep. I don't know if how. Woo! I don't know.
we're gonna have to test Hob like 16 times, or we're gonna have to give him the uh, the Alabama coach vaccine, oh, yeah. the Nick Saban vaccine. <laughs> he got good in five days. <laughs> Nick Saban beat COVID in five days, so whatever he had is what I want. Yeah. So exactly. We'll see you then. That should have given that to Trevor Lawrence. <laughs> Hey, should have given it. Should have Hey, that's Alabama money. Then you'd have the big. Money. Then you'd have the big game. That's that Alabama game money. Before, right? That's it. Enjoy right. the games. We'll see you next week. And of course, listen to Premier League Yanker. Listen to Pete's Corner and all his shows that he's got going on. That's because you're probably zone. win. Dre, I don't know where and, you're at. But and fuck the days you. only fans. Yeah. The days only fans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my, my fan only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only fans get hair. And yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course, shout out to my boy Hob. Hope you feel better, bro. Love you, buddy. Peace. Even that.